Okay, I'm going to show you a good way for bucking all your logs so that you can get perfect cut every time, the exact measurement you want every time. Uh, this tool is actually a steel manufactured tool right from their dealers. If they don't have it, they, you can order it. It's very hard to find on the website, and then even when I went to the dealer, they didn't know what it was, and they couldn't find it themselves. I did order it from there before, but when I went back the second or the third time, they still couldn't find it. So I managed to find it when uh, I was out of town because I saw this on the website. They are advertising it. So I went and I picked up three of them for myself. Basically, it's just a, a, a plastic rod. It's, it's bendy. It's got some form to it. So it's not going to, you know, as you're moving around the wood, it's not just going to snap on you. And then it's got a spring at the end so that it gives a little more bend towards the end. And then this fitting is crimped over the spring. And then there's this metal tab here and there's you can see there's a hole on the inside and then there's another adjusting hole now i couldn't find how to attach this to my chainsaw but i did figure out something and i made modifications to it so that i could place it on there so what i did was this whole metal tab i cut this metal tab off and then i welded a nut onto the end of it here's the finished version and you could see this nut is welded on. It's not a perfect job, not lined up perfectly. It is a good weld on there. All you do is drill a hole through your bar and then you attach it with a nut on one side and then you put a loft nut on the end of it. So the thing is, when you're drilling through your chainsaw bars, I'm guessing those are made out of hardened metal because they're almost impossible to drill through. Even when you have some good drill bits, it's still quite tricky. The key for drilling through metal anyway is and you're drilling a big hole i mean this is obviously not a big hole this is only three eighths when you're drilling a hole it's best to start with the small bit and then you work your way up through the bits until you finally get a hole through so it's going to take you a bit of time so just be patient don't break your drill bits you should be fine and then just get yourself like a three eighths nut and weld it on and then you're good to go just put it through put the nut on put the lock nut on and you're good to go so i'm going to go take it over and install it and then i'm going to give you a little demonstration. I'll bring a measuring tape too. Oh, well, maybe that's not necessary. I mean, if this is measured properly, this, the way I cut is, this is 16 inch, this mark right here, where I spray painted on the black paint. And then it's 18 and a half is my end. So that's my maximum length for what I cut firewood logs for. I have a lot of customers in the city here who they have fireplaces so they can put the long logs in. I like cutting the longer ones because it means less handling of the wood. It's less pieces when the pieces are longer. They're, they're about this, a little bit more, uh, they're about the same uh, width and circumference, but they're just a little longer. So it just makes for less pieces overall. 16 inch is my standard length. That's what I try to cut for. People have wood stoves and stuff, I use that. I don't really mark it for the 12 inch and the 14 inch. I have a good idea of you know what those those measurements are. So and I don't focus on those sizes too as much as I, I do do those sizes, right? But that's basically it. So I'm gonna go install it and fire up the chainsaw and show you how it works. Okay, time to do our test with the chainsaw measuring tool, the pulp measure.
Okay, now I'm going to line these up. You can see it's cut nice and straight. Pretty straightforward anyway. Some of these have an angle on them, so... They're not perfect on either end. But you can see, even with these ones with the angled edges, you can see the angle there, right? And then this block is not exactly level, but you can see it's basically the same. So if you have nice straight legs, then it's going to work out for you just as fine. So... In the future, look out for the steel pulp measure tool.